haben. Fuck. Say something? Hello? Oh god. What? It's so fucking quiet up here. Sorry. No, it's not you, it's the <clears throat> the room. Carpenters made it. So that mm. <sighs> Never a dull moment. I mean, it's all the same basic shit over and over again. Whores, soldiers, peasants. They die, they reproduce, they fuck each other, they drink, they spread their, they spread their sicknesses and their illnesses. It's all the fucking same up here. But one thing that will never change is the amount of whores, I will admit that. There is always an abundance. And that is all they fucking think about, too. Swear to get their vagina filled next. Can't relate. There's more to being a woman, you know. Plenty more than just having your way, or having people have their way with you. Also There's can't plenty relate. Plenty more. What else is there? But Tell me more about drow females. <clears throat> well, first of all, we don't fucking look for men like some hungry little weird creature searching for cock. The men come to us. She's rather pathetic. Even Cat's better than her. And Cat's still quite pathetic, too. God, people like that just drive me mad. Whores? Yeah. No, not even whores. Like, whores are fine. It's the whores that are specifically trying to piss you off. I guess. Hmm. It's whatever. There's a dime that doesn't like her. Can't get mad at every single one. It'd be very exhausting. I mean, I can. But yeah. It's not worth it, it Sarah. In the end, it really isn't. Mm -hmm. Especially after you told me you wouldn't be fooling with her. Of course not. You'll find much better bounties elsewhere. Women like her come in packs. Packs of twelve. And they all look identically the same. Really? And they all have the same useless fucking qualities. And they are only there to please a man. That's what sucks about surface women. They don't have any goal for themselves. No confidence. No air about them. They are just tools to be utilized. Mm. That's why I don't like them. I've had different experiences. They're wasting their potential as a woman. There's more to life than bearing children and making your husband happy. <laughs> I suppose. The more I think about it, the more I don't think you're going to like drow culture very much. Why don't you just stick with your surface? You do realize that where I come from I at least want to know what men it is. Men don't walk around like they do here. Yeah. You know how women are treated here? <clears throat> mm-hmm. That doesn't necessarily happen down there, but the men are subordinate. To what extent, though? You haven't really gone into details. All the extents. You do what I fucking tell you to do. Sorry. You okay? It's difficult going against my instincts. That's all. Mm. In my head you belong to me already. I claimed you. You're an object of my possession. I'm certainly more than an object, Sarah. I know you're more than an object, Kyla. But I can't help what I feel. It's not the matter of you being an object. You're not an object, but you're my object. 
Right. You're cherished. You're put on a pedestal. You're just not treated like an equal. How does that work? How are you put on a pedestal Blindly. and not treated like a equal? Because you're treated like a pet. Oh. My little thing. You have free reign. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I don't make you sit in a cage and look pretty, but... You belong to someone, just like I belong to Kate. Except it's not slavery because it's consenting. And men down there want to be controlled like that. And you say they don't really do marriage down there. You can. <clears throat> but it's different. It's very rare, though. While we live for so long, there's no need. You know? <sighs> See, the thing is, I've always seen marriage, at least up here, as two people becoming each other's, belonging to each other, equally. Marriage is a fucking piece of paper, Kyla. I know, but... Love is what brings two people together. Not a minister in a 30-minute sermon about how they're going to be with each other until death do they part. You know what I mean, though, the whole... If anything, that's shackles. Us creatures were not meant to be with one person for our entire life. Singular centurials, I can understand. They only have so many years. Of course, they're going to bond themselves to the other. We have nine lifetimes to live. Maybe ten if you're lucky. There's no point in getting married. You're going to see people come and go your entire life. They're going to die and be reborn. You born? Just sit there and watch. Or is that like a figure of speech? I mean, like, you're going to watch people be born, you're going to watch people die. You'll see many okay. humans pass. Okay. It's never going to get easier. Trick question. Let's say. <clears throat> let's say you and Cade were a thing, right? <laughs> let's say you got pregnant from Cade's child. How does that work? I would never let a man impregnate me. Okay, but human. let's say that happened. It wouldn't happen, Kyla, because I wouldn't allow it. I can't answer that truthfully. It wouldn't happen. I'm just speaking generally. I don't mean like thing. I don't mean like you. Being like generally, for like drow women and drow men. And if a female drow that did not think the same way that I did and was in your position and got pregnant by a man they would have a half child mm -hmm. by god that thing should be dead than alive because the life it's going to live is miserable Half-elves aren't even welcome down in the Underdark. Not like you'd want to be there as a half-drow anyway. Imagine. <laughs> Where would you want to be as a half-drow? I don't suppose anywhere would want you, really. You know, you're even half, you know, a full human. They'd hate you up here. And you're not even a full drow, so they'd hate you down there too, huh? I think I pity them the most. I oh, fuck that. <laughs> it's rather sad, actually. Not How being so? accepted by Drow when you are one is a doozy to get through. I guess if I ever met one, I wouldn't really have anything to say other than welcome to the club. <laughs> I'm not a half drow, but I might as well be with how I've been shunned down there. Chat, roll a d20. I can't step foot in any of the cities without being shunned away. They don't kick me out, but they don't serve me. No food, no water, no shelter. Roll another one. I lived in the woods for the last... Oh 
Can you hear that? Mm-hmm. I must turn in early and to don my arm. Do you have any more questions? You want to talk quiet, what's wrong? Somebody, because you want to get your dick fucking. Hey! Oh. I shouldn't say. I really can't escape it. No. <laughs> no, you should. Speak up, Tink Tink. So I'm just scared. The what? Everything. And hold on to it. Afraid that one day that's gonna all fall apart. <laughs> I know the feeling. Eventually you'll get used to things falling apart. It's a vicious cycle. So eventually you just kind of stop caring. And it becomes routine to pick up the pieces. It was something incredibly detrimental. I can't answer that question for you, Kaina. I know how I would handle it. How would you handle it? I would move on to the next place, the next town, the next city. What if... Just keep going. Tired of that? What if you just want to... You have no time to be tired. No, you have all the time to be tired. A thousand years, almost, to be tired. Don't fucking waste it. I better see you working on that Gunderson later. I am not being I refuse. So what do I do with life this too time? Long and too bountiful to just sit and be sad. I could travel the world. I just need money. Cade could take us places. Mirandor could come with us. We could just go away from you would want me. I'm sure if anyone. I already want you. I have told you. But you will not want to be mine. That. Yeah. Roll one last e20. Why wouldn't I want to, Kaina? You're my kin. You have the makings of a wonderful drow boy. No, I don't. You just haven't been in the right situation. Yes, you do. I've seen it. Sarah, I... This is really hard. I don't know why this is so hard. I don't know why you, I care so much about what you think. Maybe you know deep down those instincts are true. And you want to be subservient to me. Out with it. Promise you won't hate me. Depends on if it's something bad or not. Pretty bad. Can't 
I can't answer that. Hate is a strong word, though. Okay. Well, fuck it. I've nearly died so many times since I fear I haven't. Sarah. <clears throat> My father was a Rao mercenary, traveled a lot, stopped by Gradia quite a bit, met my mother, a barmaid, woman. I am the horrible half drow who you would pity if they lived. I don't fit in anywhere. You just thought it would be a good idea not to start with that. I don't want to lose my chance of actually understanding the emptiness that I feel inside me every day. Sorry. Dude. Oh, my fucking head hurts. You need time to think about this. I'm sorry, Sarah. Hey, you, Drow. Mm -hmm. Hey, you, Drow. Hello. Hi. We need you to come with me. Oh, come with us. Why? Don't worry Why about it. The, ch the church wants to see you. Why are you giggling while you say yeah. that? I'm not interested right now. Grab. <sighs> go. I don't want to go to the church. You don't have to go. I'll take him. I don't want to go. No, to I know what's church. happening in there. Oh, you okay? They're going to the church. What's going on? In the oh church, yes, huh? priest, come to the church. Come on. Oh come yeah, on. priest, go to the church. Come on, quickly. What? He is not now. What's happening there's, at the church? There's someone important who wants to meet you. I'm not in the mood for this. Uh, okay. Is everything alright, Kyla? I've lost everything.
What do you mean, fuck me? a good idea. I will bring a gift to you. I will bring a gift to you. One year hence, once more. We shall return and meet up. Something strong, please. Now. One thing that Pip has noticed now for the first time, <coughs> now that he's really looking at her, is the little girl that he met at first a year ago. Well, she looked younger. <sighs> younger even than his youngest sister. And this one. Huh? The young girl who is in his yeah, hand. Give me that a moment. Looks like him. Oh, I was just straight concentrate, land. I didn't water her down. No. He wondered. Trust me. That's what she looks like. I had a little bit of the sweet stuff. Thanks, Derek. The dutiful boy, the dutiful boy Pip, turns east and heads back downstream. <sighs> sees his family once more. He returns. Another year of chores. Another year. Tyler, you see uh, a light shift in On's window. Oh, how's it going? <sighs> Morgan was just catching me up on everything I've missed and what's been going on and... Oh. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Easy there, lad. Doing all right. Oh, come now, you're fine. You look like shit, though. What happened to you? Which part? All of it. First of all, you leave your shit lying around my house. <sighs> Sloppy bastard. I thought it'd bring you good luck. Um, Morgan, I, I'll, I'll stay here. You can go and go home and get some drinks <laughs> if you want. I was hoping you'd see that. Sorry. Thank you, Morgan. You don't need to thank me, you stubborn old bastard. You should have stayed in the fucking tavern. No one would have had to deal with this. But nah, nah. That's too easy for you. You just have to keep me on my fucking toes. Even though they're broken. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man. Ah, you're fine. <coughs> you make sure he doesn't push himself too hard. I will. I've got things I need to do tonight. Everything. 
looks fucking sore. I know how you feel. <clears throat> Slap your boot. This is a quill. Um, Mirandol showed me how to make it on my birthday. After the incident with the finger painting, I thought it was a good idea to keep it on me. <laughs> you know, I witnessed you do that on my fucking floor. And on your cat. Put ink in my fucking cat. <sighs> on, um... Still got that smudge. I haven't been able to get it out. Oh. <sighs> I think I fucked up. What do you mean? What's wrong? I just... said the truth. And some truths are just better not being said, I guess. <sighs> Nonsense, lad. When you hide the truth, it doesn't matter how good things are. Eventually, down the road, someone finds out <coughs> whatever it is. And Come the on, more yeah. time that goes by and people don't know, and then they find out on their own, or you tell them later. It's much, much worse. I think I've lost what everything. What could you have possibly done? <sighs> I told Sarah this that... This Bill Link all over Mirandale shit. I told Sarah that I'm only half draw. And? It's kind of a big thing. I'm filthy. Not to me, Half blood. Dirty. <laughs> We're all fucking dirty. Well, she's judging you. She's wearing fucking chains. Um, she is my only... She was my only chance of... <coughs> feeling <clears throat> this hole in my heart. Do you know what it's like to grow up not knowing half of yourself, like, at all. Not knowing what you're supposed to be. She was my only fucking chance of that. And I probably just fucking ruined it. I thought saying the truth would be better, rather than let it fester. But... Hey, look. Even if it's something that's big to your kind, right? even if it's something that... They take seriously purity of blood, whatever. How much worse do you think it would have been if you had let months, if not years, go by before you told her? I would have at least known more about where I was coming from. That was the point of this. To try and understand, <clears throat> she could tell me things about the drow that I don't know because no one ever fucking told me growing up. Yet I was still treated like one. Look. Ah, uh, well. People are tribal that way. I'm sorry for that. I asked her before what? if... What would have happened if there was a half-drow that she knew and she said... If I was a half-drow, I would rather be dead than live. Because of how horrible it would be. Nonsense. Yeah, well, maybe she's fucking right, huh? How's she right? Go on, tell me. What the fuck has Cerevith done for people around her? Please, what, what has she done? Saved your life. Multiple times. Aye. Well, that's a mutual survival thing. We know that. Even if I was with a stranger, and we have brigands all around us, I'd fight with my back to him. Common enemy, survival. I see how she looks at me. She narrows her eyes. Thinks less of me. Seems to look at that way at everything around her. Don't know why. <clears throat> Maybe it's what she's been taught. She don't seem like a bad lot. Come on, your blood doesn't fucking matter. 
being half of something doesn't matter. So inconsequential. At the end of the day, it doesn't define shit. You know who cares about blood? Nobility. Lords, nobles, kings. They use it to claim that they have more birthrights than anyone else and collect power for themselves and bring pawns around them to use them as they grow through their ladder. People who want nothing but power turn everything around them into what's theirs. They don't care what happens to them. You know how people treat half-breeds. Oh, no. <coughs> I know how people treat drow. Fucked either way. I don't fit in with humans because of my drow side. I don't fit in with drow because of my human side. Where the fuck do I go? Where am I? Where am I supposed to be? Who am I supposed to be? Whatever the fuck you want. I don't know what I want. When the world doesn't let you, well, you got all the time in the world to figure out. You're a drow, right? It's like elves. You live longer than I ever fucking will. You got so much time to figure it out. I've spent <clears throat> so long not having it figured out. I don't want to. I don't want to be conflicted anymore. I don't want to have missing parts. I want to. I just. I had a chance, and I've blown it. No, I don't know where my home is. <laughs> Is it back in Gradia with those people? Is it down in the Underdark with the Drow? Is it in Ledford? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'd say it's wherever you make your own. Especially once you've lost everything. I don't have much. Everything I have is here in this hut. Got my cat. Got my fireplace, <clears throat> got my carvings, my sword, my reputation as a blacksmith, and my friends. The grand scheme of things is that much? Uh, probably not. But am I happy with it? Uh, I had much more than this once. Quite a bit. Never took it for granted, but never imagined it could be all ripped away. Had a family as well. Close friends. Loyal men. Good home. Well, that's all gone now. Like most things that live in the past, they stay there. Never to come back. So what do you do once it's all ripped away? Whine about it. Wish for somebody to grab you by the hand and show you where you're meant to be. Or get so fucking fed up with the world kicking you around that you make your own fate, determine your own rules. Go your own way. <coughs> Surround yourself with people who are good for you, not ones who use you. I just fucking try to live, not worry about every fucking thing else. Everybody else's fucking problems, everybody else's fucking issues. Home is where you make it, it's no place. To where you sit your ass down and say, This is my home. Can I tell you what it's like to be a drow? Fuck no. I don't know anything about it. Not even if I tried. Do I know what it's like to be alive and never be able to go back home? I do. Do I know what it's like to lose everything? I do. Do I know what it's like to scrape by? I do. Do I know what it's like for people who want your head? I do. Here I am, old. Got a fireplace. 
I've got ale, I've got food. I've got a fucking cat. Covered in fucking ink, but I have a cat. What more else do I need? My life is relatively peaceful. I've got good people in it. Relatively. <laughs> I tried I tried the family thing. Huh, <coughs> close to it. Just saying fuck the world and going after my own things. <clears throat> Oh, and ever since I was born, I've just had this empty spot. I can't say, and I won't lie to you, I'm not going to say I know what that's like. I don't. I've always had a purpose. I've known what I've had to do. But I have had holes in my heart for a long time. And it sucks. I know it does. But everything heals with time. And as you get older, you learn things. You find out what's more important in life. And you've got way longer than I do, boy. I'll be dust when you're just becoming an adult. You've got all the time you need. And you've got a good friend, Mirandel. Yeah, he's a little stuck up, can be. But there's no doubt he doesn't care. Took you in, feeds you. Educating you, he doesn't got to do that. His own people would scoff at him for doing that. If anyone could help you find a way home, it'd be him. I don't know how many more people I should tell about. You know, <clears throat> me. Go with your gut, boy. If you feel it's something that you don't need to talk about, then don't. If it's something that you want somebody to know so they can help you with, tell them. <clears throat> you have every right to keep it to yourself, as long as you're not putting anyone else in danger. Did you hear that Marek died? No fucking way. About to betray the captain. Was it you? No fucking way. Better <coughs> betray the captain. Ended up in single combat. <clears throat> Some of the townsfolk. Distracted him or something, and the captain got the better hand, butchered him. It's like that. Huh. Good fucking show. Me? Things will be better with that bastard dead. Ah. <clears throat> All we need to be grateful for is that he's dead. He was a right bastard. I never really noticed Marek and the things he did. I like to stay to myself. But after I saw what he did to you. That's when it started. Same way again. When what started? We had no family. No wife, no kids. Parents. Stayed inside the castle walls after nightfall. Smoked pipe weed up in the tower. Kept to himself. Had a few guards that were loyal to him at first, but then he twisted the minds of people. The ever so slight limp on his left leg. Ever so slight. You were watching him. It's hunting him. Good that you didn't. Because no matter how fucked he was. If you killed a guardsman, you know it would have been spun the wrong way. Only if they found out. They probably would have found out. 
This field cheated. My boy. Taking a life is not an enjoyable thing. I'm aware. But for him, I would have made an exception. There would have been no job even in him. Because all you would have thought of is all the people that he's already killed. And they ain't back. Look at it this way. You're alive and he's not. You're living and breathing. And he's rotting. Good fucking enough for us. You can fucking try and kill the next bastard that comes along. Till then, live your life. That sounds so bad. It's fair. I'd like you to live. What for? What do you mean, what for? I'm just rambling now. Why are any of us alive, Kyla? What's Spite. the fucking point? I? Spite. It's good enough. In spite of what? I don't know. So tired. Everything that wants you dead. How about this? You do me a favor. Get an old man a walking stick. I need to go wash in the river. I will get some ale. Huh? I'll wait here for. Do you feel regret? Uh... Every day of my fucking life. There are many things I regret. You were mentioning something. But in my asleep. heart. Hmm. So I don't remember a thing. I don't know if you want to. Probably just being daisy from the injury. Mention the <sighs> Lord. I thought you get that stick. Oops. I have three trackers. Because, uh, yeah, so I've been doing this awesome. trying to bet I'll bring back something from the tavern. I should have some fresh pork. Bring you some pork. Uh, all right. <laughs> One walking stick. One old man. This is fucking big enough. <sighs> oh, I'd be careful, by the way. Perfect size. Oh, what? Fucking no. Well, some people, guards going around, <clears throat> trying to get everyone just to 
by this one dude's wife or something. Oh, God. Yeah, a boring night, I suppose. Strange. Oh, this is gonna have fucking sunk. Okay. <clears throat> there. Oh, there you are. Is, um, everything all right? Um, yeah, I was following on somewhere and then, um, I blanked out for a second. I'm only just returning. So. Oh dear. Um. Is everything alright with Cerevis? Why you say that? She was, um, a bit sulky earlier. What was she doing? No, nothing. She was just uh, sitting at the usual spot drinking. She's fine. Nothing. Nothing happened to her. Uh, just she seemed. Uh, she said some. Oh, I don't know. What did she I don't know what to make of it. Can, can we help you? Oh, I just saw two cute guys talking, and I figured I'd come see what's going on. <laughs> How about you see what's going on over there? I'm busy. What did she say? Oh. Um. That one's got a temper, just like the other one. I don't know. It wasn't anything. Well, it was unusual for her, but it, because it was self-reflective, I, I don't know. What did you talk about? What did she? What did she say? Uh, fine, fine. She just said that she wasn't sure about things, and maybe she's doing the wrong thing or something like that. Uh, but don't tell her I told you that, or she's going to think that... I don't know. I said something I shouldn't have. I spilled a secret I shouldn't have. And I'm... What was it? Come on, you know I'm nosy. Um, I admitted to her that I'm only half draw. Oh, you have. I had no idea. N no one does. Only Yuan and Sarah, and whoever the fuck she told, I guess. She didn't say anything about that. Not to you, maybe. I see. So it kind of... I don't know, I thought it was the good I Thought I was doing the right thing by saying the truth, and... I don't know, I might have just lost my chance to actually understand who the fuck I'm supposed to be, and where the fuck I'm supposed to go, and how I'm supposed to act. So... Kyla, well, if you only have to out, then... Mirindel... Not your entire heritage. No, but I... It was... Ever since I was born, I've always had this... Nice, empty part of me... That I've never understood. And I finally I felt like I finally had a chance to... Understand it. And... I've probably just thrown that away. <laughs> In a fit of honesty. To... Why oh, don't she just... Got it out of me, and I've lost it. I've lost everything. <laughs> That's it. I. You haven't lost everything. She's not the only drow in the world. There's other drow on the surface, especially in the Esmeth loss. It's not the end of the world. It's. I don't know. Uh, Sarah, she might just be processing things anyway. You didn't say uh, it. There is something... You know when you say something or you do something to Sarah, 
and you know about it because she tells you she screams at you and, and she she threatens violence threatens you yes. i told her this you know what she said to me i need what? some time to process this i see so If that doesn't set alarm bells off, I'd... I'm just kind of all over the place. I lost... something I was driving for. Nearly lost... someone I cared about. And now I've lost... potentially my only ability to actually understand myself. So I'm just kind of... you know? I, I understand. I, I do. There's something about elven culture that might translate over to drow culture, which could explain why she is so... half are she widely so renowned to be filthy and disgusting, uh, especially to... This is just speculation on my part, but people and in elven culture, we worship the goddess stuff. of purity. Uh, typically, um, half-born... Of any kind, whether it's elven, human, the fact that Mirandel is spitting on me right now and I'm treated or seen with disdain, chill about it is incredibly surprising. I'm not surprising. sure if it's the same over there, or where she's from, or where one of your parents were from, but I teased the question earlier. I mean, if, if it is to her, I said, you know, what would have happened if you know, if you if you were a half breed, like if you were like I don't know, half human, half drow, she said, I would probably kill myself because it's a lot easier than dealing with world as a half drow. Because I'm not welcome uh, up here on the surface because I'm part drow and I'm not fucking welcome down there because I'm part human. I don't understand either of them. So... I see. I don't know. That's why I was concerned about what when? she said because I... I see. I'm sorry. I wish I had some... Words of advice or encouragement. I know things are hard for you, especially. But if she didn't even have an inkling that you were a half drow. Well, things are probably going to make a lot more sense to her now. Because I'll explain why I'm so, such a fucking weird drow. She's just been putting it down to the fact that I've been on the surface my whole life, but now it's going to start making sense to her. I'm not pure. I see. <clears throat> I think Arn went to the infirmary. I was going to follow him to the tavern, but I see him in there. I see. Um, I'll accompany you. Okay. Oh, and, um, I was wrong. Vestel, Vestel did not want to invite you to have, um, relations with that one guy's wife. It was a, um, with her and that one guy's wife. I thought it was kind of funny. It's just not something I'm chasing right now, Mirren. I know, I know. I loved someone once not too long ago. She quite literally I see. shot me in the back. Oh, I s L Literally? I have the scar. You wanna see? I see. Uh, I believe you.
are these planks for? Is it replacements? Uh, Possibly. Replacement ward? Well, what the fuck? No one's here. Maybe they went to the tavern. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Go on a wild... Goosey chase. A wild arm chase. Hmm. It's no worries. I need to speak to that man anyway. Kylo, if it's any... Reconciliation, the consolation. Uh... Were you looking for the surgeon? Looking for Arn. Mm -hmm. Arn is out near the river. Thank you. Washing himself off from the blood. Was anyone with him? As I was saying, if it's. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. Well, uh, as I was saying, if it's any consolation, I... I would like to help you learn more about your people. I'm sure that there are books somewhere that I can find on drow culture. That'd be really nice. I suppose it'll do because, I mean... Don't take this the wrong way, but I'm sure you understand that having someone actually tutoring you is better than reading. Yes, of course. But I do appreciate it. And I have a, um... That's something to think about. Yes, yes. <sighs> Besides, I think if... I don't know, I feel like Sarevitz would have... If she had no intentions of ever talking to you again, she would have made it known. It's mine. Theory, anyway. I must rather say, because oh, last cabin. time that I was here. Oh dear. Since last time that I <sighs> had a headache. Oh, fog, I mm. believe, almost ran me down. Hey boys, watch out for snakes around here. They've been attacking. Be careful. Hmm. 